Hello guys and welcome to a new lesson in Linux. In this lesson we will be talking about the string processing and it will be string processing part 1. First I will display the files that I have here and we will go on with the first command which will be head. Now I will type the command head and then type the file's name. I will choose this file over here, letter. Now what this command does is that it will display for me the first 10 lines of the file letter. If you press enter, now you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It displayed for me the first 10 lines of this file here letter. Now I can make the same command head to display for me a certain number of lines from the file. For example, if I wanted to display only the first five lines of the file, I will type head minus n and then five and type the file's name and press enter. As you can see here, it displayed for me only the first five lines. There's another option from the head. If I type the command head, then minus v and then type the file's name and press enter as you can see it will display for me the first 10 lines and here because of the command minus v it will display for me the file's name now as we have seen how to see the first lines of any file we can also see the last or the end of a file by the command tail if I type the command tail and then the file's name and press enter it displayed for me the last 10 lines of the file and like the heads you can set or make it display a certain number of lines in the tail if I type tail minus n and make it for example 4 and then type the file's name. Here it displayed for me the last four lines. Alright, now I will open another shell to check out a command called tail minus f. I will type tail minus f. And then user local slash apache and then slash logs and press enter. You can monitor a log file with this command. As you can see, it's displaying all of the updates entering the log file at the current time. Now I'll get back to the other shell. Now let's have the other comment or the next comment and it will be the word count and its comment is typed by WC. For example, now I will type W C and then I'll type the file's name. As you can see here, WC displayed for me the number of lines and the number of words and its size by bytes. This means that this file duplicate has 9 lines and 18 words and its size is 63. And you can word count or display each one of them by its own. For example, if I type WC minus L and then duplicate and press enter, it will display for me only the lines. WC minus L will display only the lines. WC minus W. 
will display for me the words and WC minus C will display for me the its size by byte. You can also use the command WC to uh, have an idea or display how many directories and files are in a directory. I will type the command ls and then the directory's name etc and then slash and then I will insert the pipe and type wc minus l and press enter. As you can see here it displayed for me that there are 145 a total of directories and files inside this directory over here. Now we will talk about our next command and it will be the sort command and it's about sorting the contents in, in a file. First I will display the files. For example I would like to sort the contents of this file but first let's see what's inside. I will type cat and then the file's name. As you can see here are numbers but they are not sorted out so to sort them out I will type the command sort minus n and then the files name press enter here it sorted me all of the numbers in an order and I'll try to sort another file I will take this file over here letter but first I will see I will check it out by cat letter you can see here are letters but they are not sorted out they are not in order so I will type the command sort and then the files name and press enter and here you can see it listed for me the same letters but in correct alphabetical order and notice that in the first command or the first one that we have sorted we have added minus n and in the second one we haven't added the minus n that's because if you will sort out a file that contains numbers then you must add minus n after the command sort I will clear the page now. Now let's see how the command sort may be useful for us with the grep command. Let's say for example you type the command grep and then bash slash etc slash passwd and first let's try it without adding the command sort or without combining the command sort I will type enter I will press enter as you can see here it came up or it displayed for me all of the lines that have the word bash okay now let's see what will happen we, when we combine the command sort with it I will type the same command one more time grep bash slash etc slash P A S S W D and then I will insert the pipe and type the command sort and press enter. It displayed for me uh, the same lines but with alphabetical order A and then J and then O and then R and then T. And that what sort does and it may be very helpful in your search if you want to find a line by its alphabetical order. You can also use the command sort to remove duplicated lines in a file. Uh, I will check out the file first. Cat and then duplicate and press enter. As you can see there are many duplicated files here like line 1 is duplicated here 3 times or 4 times. Now I want to remove those duplicated files by the command sort I will type sort 
and then minus u and then the file's name and press enter here it removed for me all of the duplicated lines up here you can also remove duplicated lines from a file by another comment it will be sort and then the file's name duplicate and then you will insert the pipe and add the word unique and press enter here it removed for me all of the duplicated files sorry I mean duplicated lines and as you can see here this command unique is the new one that we have used now we will talk about the command called cut and this command cut is mainly used to display specific information from a file let's take a look at that first I will see the file etc slash groups as you can see here the first one as we have said before is the user is the groups name and then its password and then its ID let's say I want the groups name only without the other information I will use the cut command I will type cut and then but first before I type the comment there is something here that I want to say these two dots as you can see here the first one which is the groups name is a field and then the password is a field and then the ID is a field and these two dots are the dots that separate each field from the other this is the first field this is the second field and this is the third field so I want only the groups names and that will be the first field so I will type the command cut and then F and type the number 1 sorry minus F and then 1 and this number 1 I mean the first field with it and then minus D and two dots because in this case what separates the fields each one from the other is the two dots so I will add it here after minus D and then and before I, tie, I press on the enter button I would like to note another small thing that those two dots here may be different they may be a comma or they may be any other thing in the file itself so whatever it is the symbol that separates each field from the other you will insert it here after the D but mostly in this file you will always find it two dots it will not change you may find it something else in other files now I'll press enter as you can see it displayed for me only what's in the first field which is the groups name let's try and have an example of the cut command on another uh, file okay now as you can see here there are information about the user, the password, its ID, its group's ID and uh, its path and its shell access ability now I want some information about the user and I want information about its ID so what I will be focusing on is the, f is the first field and the third field so I will type the command cut minus F1 1 which is the first field 
and then a comma and then three three which will be the third field and then minus d two dots and then slash etc slash p a s s w d and then press enter here it displayed for me only the information of the first field which is here the first field and the id which is the third field and here as you can see the third field now to the last command that we will learn in our lesson today and it will be the command paste by this command you can combine the contents of two files together first I will display the files here let's say I want to combine the contents of this file first name and this file last name first let's see what's in the file okay I have some names over here and I will see the names in the second file here are some other names so here are names and here are different names and I want to combine both names together so I will type the command paste and then minus D comma and then first name dot txt and then last name dot txt so I have added the names of those two files over here and then I will redirect them to another file student name dot txt so after both of those files contents are combined they will be in a new created file by this name student name dot txt now I'll press enter and I will type cat student name dot txt and press enter as you can see it has combined the names the one from here with the one from here and this one with this one it have combined all of the names together and with this comment paste you can combine the contents of any two files together just like this way and by that we have finished the string processing part one. See you in part two and thank you for watching.